Hey, it's the Rod Traveler here. This video is about traveling and what kind of ways, what's one of the easiest ways to earn some money when you travel. A lot of people are interested in traveling, but they're afraid that once they get once they've started traveling for a while, even if you're traveling for free or for cheap, you eventually need some money, and we all need some money every once in a while. So one of the easier ways to make money, especially if you're English speaking, English is, is your first language, or you're a native English speaker, or you grew up in an English speaking country and you speak English pretty fluently, one of the easiest ways to make money would be to look for jobs teaching English. Of course, uh, here's an example of a way to find jobs that pay at least a little bit of money speaking, I mean, teaching English or working with uh, people who need English speakers. So I just went out to Craigslist, just go to Craigslist, and this is the Craigslist for Thailand, as you can see on the left side, it's Craigslist for Thailand. And just go into the jobs, click on jobs. And once you click on jobs, just type in English in the search box, click the, the magnifying glass to search, and then you get a list of jobs where you need to have English or speak English or to teach English. And uh, there's some interesting positions. This is uh, actually in Thailand, but some of these p positions are in other countries, like this is in Beijing. And then uh, there's one in Minbury, which is part of Bangkok. And this is Hua Hin and uh, English. See here, you got English teachers. Here's an example of one. Our school is opening new level M5 in our English program. We have one of the most competitive programs in the region with multilingual English, Burmese, Chinese, Japanese, and Malaysian staff and teachers. We're looking for two English teachers who are going to teach listening and speaking classes or writing classes. And then they need a science math teacher who's going to handle M4 and M5 science classes, chemistry, physics, etc., and math for M1 to M3. And then uh, you're, they're asking for your bachelor's degree. So if you have a bachelor's degree, it's helpful. Not all the jobs require a bachelor's degree, though. And uh, original copies of transcript and diploma for visa and work permit. That's because they're going to offer you a visa or work permit or both, actually. And uh, so you need that if you... So I, I suggest you bring along your, your a copy of your transcript and your diploma, if possible when you travel that would help a lot when you uh, look for a job in a foreign country so here's a compensation thirty thousand plus or minus thirty thousand baht is around a thousand little under a thousand dollars us per month that's what you'd expect to get in most of uh, parts of thailand that's that's kind of the going rate so that's you know this is one of the greatest uh, easiest ways to to get a job in fact when i was in thailand last year i had uh, received three jobs I, I i was working in three jobs at one time and uh two of the three jobs i found right here on craigslist and uh, all you got to do is look through these jobs uh, also you can look through gigs there's another section on Craigslist uh, right here and you see it says gigs you can click on gigs too and gigs will also give you a lot of info interesting uh, situations there might be something that you have a skill in that you might see on here like here's hardware repair on the Len Lenovo computer so you might you might be able to do something like that if that's the kind of thing that you do uh, so that actually that's something looking for they're looking for someone who's going to get 1200 baht if you can fix the problem with the Lenovo computer. So that's like if that's your, sp your skill, you have a skill in that, you might be able to get 1200 baht for that. Uh, there's make money in the travel industry, part time models, and uh, animation developers. And then there's there's all kinds of things, bartenders, and uh, someone in, in Thailand is going to need a guide. 
that's probably there it could be a guy who's just looking for a girlfriend but there's all, all kind of things you got to understand it a lot of things on craigslist are not exactly what you think they are but there, there's also a lot of legitimate stuff on here so i suggest just checking it out if there's something that suits what you want to do or what you're able to do then go ahead and give it give it a shot uh, don't put all your your eggs in one basket so to speak and try a few different uh answering a few different of these few of these ads and maybe you'll find that one or two might work out and you'll be able to make some money and who knows it might lead to uh to something in the future and you might end up staying in that place or wherever it is that you went to and uh you know make make it a long-term thing so that's my suggestion hopefully we'll see you soon on a